G'day, in the previous video in this series we talked about uh, removing mass from a motorcycle and the conclusion we come up with was if you take mass out of the motorcycle it actually can make a huge difference in terms of the bike's ability to accelerate and decelerate. So it's probably one of the most cost effective ways of going about performance improvements for a number of reasons and uh, this particular video continues that conversation. The question we want to answer in this particular video is does it matter where you take that weight from? And I can tell you up front, the answer is yes. So in this video, I wanna talk about sprung versus unsprung weight. Now, sprung versus unsprung, what's the difference between the two? Well, sprung weight is everything that is suspended, uh, is supported and held up by the suspension. So the frame, the engine, the chassis, the, the tank, the seat, the rider, the top half of the forks, uh, everything, that when you hit a bump, kind of goes down, it doesn't react to the bump so much, that is sprung weight. But everything that is on the road that is not supported by the suspension, but rather supports, is underneath the suspension pushing upwards, that would be referred to as unsprung weight. Now, given the choice between removing a kilogram of weight of sprung weight versus a kilogram of weight of unsprung weight, I would choose unsprung weight every single day. The, the reason for it is quite simple. If you're riding along the road and you get bumps and undulations in the road, what happens is you've got this mass that is not sprung. The mass hits the bump or rolls over the bump and it reacts to it. So, you know, there's an equal and opposite force. So you get this bump, so it forces the mass to go upwards. The more mass that we have in that unsprung weight, the more inertia, the more energy it is driving upwards with which means the suspension has to work a lot harder to do its job. And its job is basically to keep those wheels on the road. So as you can see, the unsprung weight on a motorcycle is predominantly everything from the axles out to the tire. So it's the disc rotor, it's the rim, it's the brake caliper, um, it's the tire, it's all the nuts and bolts, it's the sprocket, it's part of the chain, it's a whole range of things there. In the front end, it's the bottom end of the forks, which are attached or fixed to the wheel itself. So all of that, right, is weight that is pushing upwards or bouncing upwards when you hit bumps, and the suspension actually has to force it back down through its compression settings and rebound settings and things like that to do its job, which is keep everything on the road. Now, if you take weight from that, what's going to happen is there's going to be less reaction or less energy associated with the reaction to the bumps in the surface of the road, which means the suspension is going to be, uh, work far less to achieve its desired outcome, and that is to keep the wheels on the road. So the suspension can actually work better. The bottom line is this. Given the choice between removing a kilogram of sprung or a kilogram of unsprung weight, then I would choose the unsprung weight every day because it's definitely going to help with the handling and the ability of this bike to actually work. The, the interesting thing about sprung versus unsprung weight, if you remove sprung weight from uh, a motorcycle, so for example, if you go to you know carbon fiber tank, uh, small capacity tank, carbon fiber componentry, um, things like that, that's going to change the actual weight of this mass sitting on top of the springs. And what that means is when you jump on the bike, it's going to have a different sag setting. Um, so you would need to readjust the sag on the motorcycle, the rider sag I'm talking about. But if you remove unsprung weight, it has zero effect on sag because it is at the other end of the suspension. So uh, just something worth mentioning. So there you have it. Um, the second part of this question, we're going to answer in the next video. And don't forget, if you're not a subscriber already, click on the subscribe button. I'd love to continue our two-wheel journey with you over the course of you know, uh, the years that we're doing these videos. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.